right now we are cruising on the interstate going 70, sorry about the noise, to go buy a golf cart for super cheap. That's a little bit of a problem. So we've got no air con in this, which is why the windows are down, which is why I'm screaming at you, and which is why we're passing Teslas and the big old Cummins. Now, I had a golf cart in the past. Uh, I got it like 15 minutes away from my house, gave it a horrible rattle can paint job and made a ton of money on it. So this time, I found one that's a little bit more of a project, um, but the margin is even thicker. So I should be able to repair it, fix it up, and make a ton of money. And that's the goal, to be able to uh, have a little shop golf cart for a while and make a little bag as well. It's pretty cool, should be fun. So driving just under an hour away in the huge lifted Cummins, and I feel like the biggest issue is gonna be getting the golf cart into the bed of this truck that's on, I think, 33s, that has a big Skyjacker lift. It's a tall truck. So anyway, we're cruising. We got the bed emptied out. Should be good. Fingers crossed, hoping for the best. Think you'd be willing to do seven? No, dude, I gotta, okay. I gotta at least get eight, man, because I... You know what? If you got a ramp, I don't want to with it. We can do eight. All right, man. So here she is, unloaded in the field, in the yard, looking sad as can be. But it runs and it rides. So I think we're gonna frame bang. Oh no, she isn't making it. Maybe with some more acceleration. Okay, full beans, here we go. Got her. Parts runner. We got some brake parts for the Civic SI on the back. We get to move them all the way up to the barn without having to bat an eye. Look at that. Oh, that is awful. So I want to give you a tour of this golf cart that I got. The good old golfy. And uh, it's a little bit of a mess right now. So I want to show you exactly how we got it so that you can see the transformation. So starting off over here, we got a little ding up front. It's very, very, very dirty. It's been sitting for a while. The wheels are gross on the inside. Lots of dirt on the tires. And I think I'm gonna like do this thing up. It's a really nice looking golf cart. It's not gonna be spray painted like the other one. So uh, with that, I think we're gonna clean out the rims, put some tire shine on, just make this thing really pop. Bring all of the trim, this faded, crap plastic back to life bring that easy go badge oh back to life too this thing is gonna pop i tell you what anyway uh moving on we have the main cause of concern right here i don't think a golf cart is supposed to look like this so uh yeah we got the frame issue to sort um but she runs she rides it's dirty in here pretty gross. The seat is stained. Someone stepped on it, but there's no rips in the upholstery, which is amazing. Um, so it's gross. It's nasty. The white is dirty. It's just been sitting outside. Uh, you can see just ugh, how nasty all of that is. This paint could be touched up. I may end up masking everything and hitting this with some paint. This bumper is disgusting. Absolutely horrible. May end up hitting this with some truck bed coating to bring it back to life. Got to clean all of this out. Uh, we have some twigs that need to come out. Some stickers that need to come off. Some twine that needs to be pulled. Yeah, like you don't even have the decency to clean out your golf cart before you sell it. Some power aids, some, all sorts of crap. So I think number one, taking it down to the shop and we can get it vacuumed out and get all this crap uh the trash taken out and then we'll take it right here to the car wash station get her sprayed down making sure not to get the electrical i guess i can show you this as well it's nasty it's dirty down here we have some corrosion um on the terminal ends and it's just gross so got to clean that out but it runs and rides quite well Break off, forward, zoom, whoa! You saw that camera fly back. That is some torque, I tell you what. We can go high speed down the road. You can hear that wind noise, the steering wheel's a little off. 
And the brakes are great as well. I'm gonna yam them. Oh, we locked them up right there. You heard that too. And just for the haters, uh, oh, we gotta grab that power aid so we don't let it reverse quite fast as well. So everything is good mechanically with the golf cart. It's just the frame that we had some problems with. But uh, we'll get that addressed. We'll get, her, we'll get her vacuumed right now. We're going off road. Did I do a J turn? So we got it vacuumed out, cleaned out for the most part, and we have the essentials. Some dollar store leather and vinyl cleaner, some hot shine tire foam, some tough stuff, Meguiar's natural shine, a little brush, some microfibers, and some utility blades to get the stickers off. So we are done down here in the barn, headed back up, and we will get this thing washed. One last walk around before she gets cleaned. So we got the preliminary clean done and it looks a lot better. That's for sure, no contest. But there are still quite a few stands on the seat and uh, detail work that needs to be done and the stickers need to be removed. So that's next. <music> positive transformation I would say. I'm gonna use a Mr. Clean magic eraser to get all of the staining out of the white hopefully. Fingers crossed that it works because uh, the other stuff wasn't. I haven't tried the heavy duty products but Dawn dish soap was not working so we'll see. So next up we have this uh, nice looking clean front wheel now but a very very nasty rear wheel. So I'm gonna go ahead, set the camera down right here. We already got this center hub masked off and I'm just gonna paint, uh, paint this wheel white so that it pops, so that it looks good again. So we're gonna use this around the rim so we don't get overspray city. how this thing looks now that it's clean now that it's all hot shined up i think it looks a lot better way 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 better um so we still have to tackle this i was correct in my assumption that we're gonna need to mask that hit it with some truck bed coating but it'll be good we'll uh, hit this with some black paint as well to get all of this rust looking better and uh 
think that's it for the detail. So we got that side looking a lot better compared to all the fading over here. I'm gonna blast this side and should be good. I'm gonna go ahead and hit all of this with some coating as well to give it some more durability and to uh, really finish off that look. You can see great transformation there. That looks a heck of a lot better as well. Also gonna go ahead and reshoot this real quick. Uh, get that taken care of and back to black too. Nice. Uh -huh. Oh, Billy Bob. Here we go. Ready? Yeah, it's all ever been. Just a frame. She and Charlie fun. could ride on the back. Yes, she could drive it. Okay, we'll get out here. <laughs> so we just got her jacked up for the first time, and I'll show you. This is why she was cheap. And this is why it sits so funny. Because we got a little frame issue on a golfie. So we got the golfie and we have the entrance to the barn. We have the sliding door. So we have a, a step down. This goes up to keep outside stuff from coming in, then a little slant. But with the frame how it is, I just want to show you. We do have to carry a little bit of speed. Otherwise, actually I'll show you. She just gets stuck. So we'll carry a little speed through it. Where's my, oh, no. My shift selector fell off. change the approach a little bit. Uh, -uh. uh but I was wondering if you could weld a golf cart. Um, uh, we probably can. Like, what part of the, are you wanting? Uh, the underside. There is, um, there's a part of the frame. I said we won't put out the car frames all the time. Oh, easy. Yeah. That ain't bad at all. So 
so just a couple days later, I got a call saying the golf cart was done and the grand total was a whopping $108. That's it to get the frame reinforced and all good. So we got the golfy back and this thing looks and is sitting proper now. So we got a super nice sunset coming through and we got the super nice golf cart loaded up with an old bumper. I don't want to get tetanus, a whole bunch of trash, some more trash. And uh, this thing is sweet. I don't know. I don't know exactly where this fits in the video, um, but I am using the golfy in the best way possible. It's a little shop cart. So while I'm having it or while I have it, I'm utilizing it, which is great. It's one of the asset or one of the perks of owning this sort of asset, something that you can actually use uh, recreationally or for work. Um, I don't want to take off too hard with all this trash, but uh, it's great to be able to drive the cars that you want or drive a truck that you want and be able to tow with it or play with it like the Civ. Just enjoy the uh, arbitrage opportunities that you come across and utilize them in whatever way that you choose to. Like running errands uh, from the house to the shop. Don't fall, baby. Anyway, I'm going to focus on driving. So as the sun is coming down, so is the uh, the flip, the story, and the legacy of the Golfy. Uh, I ended up selling it for a whopping twenty two hundred bucks, way lower than anticipated because I saw comps as high as like thirty five hundred for a really, really, really similar golf cart. It's on the screen right now. You can see it too. Uh, anyway, I had it priced up there and then dropped it down to 27, then dropped it down to 22. I had no serious buyers. People wanted to trade all sorts of stuff for it. But uh, I ended up like after a couple of weeks getting an influx of people that wanted it that week. Um, and one person wanted to come Wednesday, one Thursday, um, and then one Friday. And the guy Friday wanted to drive all the way down from Wisconsin. It would be like a five or six hour drive because it was such a good deal. He thought, uh, evidently nobody in my region thought so. Anyway, uh, all the folks would set up times and cancel, and it's just the runaround that you get trying to sell stuff online. Anyway, finally got a buyer. They were local, 45 minutes or so away uh, for their shop, and they were like, I want a little shop golfy. I said, you got to keep this thing true to its heritage, true to its name. Call it golfy if you want to. And I sold it for 2200 bucks, which is great. I had about $1,000 in it. It was 800 to purchase, plus the fuel costs plus the 106 or $108 repair for the frame uh, to get professionally done. And so we were in it for a grand, sold it for 22 and made 1200 bucks on this thing, all while having fun with it, driving it around, using it around uh, the yard and the farm and the house and all that, and uh, making a little baggie as well. So if you like that video, if it inspired you, if you like the transformation, give this video a like, Drop a comment down below telling me what you thought. Would you have tackled the weld job yourself? Do you think I got a killer deal on it? I sure did. Uh, and if you're interested in learning how to make money, not only on golf carts and not usually on golf carts, but on any other sort of automobile, trucks, cars, motorcycles, whatever, click the link down below and check out automotivemoney.com. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna stay up to date with all the newest projects, all the newest flips, and marketing and detailing, arbitrage, all the fun stuff, all the vehicles. Stay tuned. And with that in mind, I will see you on the next one. Peace.